QLED versus OLED, two TV technologies that sound similar, but they look and work very differently. Now, if you've arrived at this video, you're probably trying to decide which kind of TV might be best for you. So I'm gonna try and help make that decision easier. Now, there are a number of different brands that make QLED TVs, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna hone in on Samsung QLED TVs. They're by far the most advanced kind of QLED TV and the most popular. So let's dig right in. The most important thing to know about QLED TVs is that they're still LCD TVs, but with LED backlights. The Q in QLED represents the addition of quantum dots, these tiny little particles that glow when you shine light on them. Quantum dots elevate a TV's picture quality in a number of ways. So when you see QLED, think super premium LED TV. At the end of the day, you still have an LCD panel with a backlight and a color filter and all these different layers involved. OLED TVs are different because they're what we call an emissive display. They don't need backlights or all those extra layers that LCD panels have. You get a super thin panel loaded with red, green, blue, and white pixels that make their own light when you feed them electricity. The advantages of an OLED TV are perfect black levels and an almost unlimited viewing angle. You can step well off to the side of an OLED TV and the contrast in color is gonna look exactly the same as if you were sitting directly in front of it. Finally, OLED TVs have lightning fast response time, so you don't get motion blur from the panel. If there's any limitations to OLED TVs, it's in the fact that they can't go to the same extreme brightness levels that QLED TVs can. That applies to both contrast and color. However, when you start from perfect black, you don't need excessive brightness for a beautiful picture. In fact, unless you watch TV in a really bright room, the chances are that an OLED TV is going to be plenty bright for you and will offer an excellent 4K picture with impressive high dynamic range highlights and color. There is one more potential disadvantage to OLED TVs, and that's something people are calling screen burn-in. Now, it's not like the burn-in that we got with old tube TVs, but the effect is similar. It only applies to a select few people, though. OLED pixels degrade very slowly over time. So if you have a picture with a static image on it, and that could be the little station ID icon in the corner of the screen from say ESPN or CNN, or it could be a games informational display, anything that's on screen all the time for hours and hours on end, you could end up wearing out the screen in that area so that you see a faint impression of that image when you watch other kinds of content, like it's permanently there. I can't stress enough though that this is not going to affect very many people at all and manufacturers are putting technology in the TV to help limit this problem. So that's OLED. Now let's talk about QLED. What makes QLED TV special is that they can make remarkably accurate color right up to extreme brightness levels. And because they can get so bright, you can get eye-popping HDR images. Also, a QLED TV will never suffer from burn-in, so if you have real reason to worry about that, then a QLED TV will eliminate those concerns. The drawbacks to QLED all relate to the limitation of LCD panels. They tend to struggle to get really dark black levels, so on the least expensive QLEDs, blacks can look a little gray or milky. There's also the issue of blooming and halos. This happens when you have bright objects on a black background, like a moon in a night sky. The effect is a halo or a ring around the bright object instead of a sharp edge. Also, if you're watching a movie with letterbox bars on the top and bottom, those black bars will sometimes light up slightly where the TV has to be bright in the picture area, and this can be distracting to some people. Perhaps the biggest issue with QLED TVs that affects the most amount of people is that they have historically had very bad off-angle viewing. Step to the side and you'll see the brightness go down, the blacks get even murkier, and the colors shift. This can be bad if you mount your TV up high, say over the fireplace, or if you sit off to the side of a TV on a large sectional couch. Here's the thing though, Samsung for 2018 has improved their QLED TV so much that they're starting to approach OLED levels. There's new technology in the panel and an anti-reflective film that mitigate a lot of those issues that I just talked about. This is a 2018 Samsung Q9, which is the best TV the company makes. And it's reduced halo and blooming effects to such a minimum level that most people will never notice it. And they've also drastically improved off-axis viewing, so more people can enjoy that really excellent color and contrast. 
What's more, some of Samsung's QLED TVs have really slick features like the One Connect box, where you connect everything to this one box, and then the entire video signal goes over this tiny fiber optic cable. That makes for a really clean installation on its own. But if you add one of Samsung's custom QLED TV mounts, you can get a super flush mount to the wall, which makes it look even more sleek. Samsung also has a killer automated setup system that can detect your Wi-Fi's password from your phone and automatically connect the TV to the internet. From there, it can also automatically log you in to a bunch of streaming apps so you don't have to sit there and punch in usernames and passwords. Finally, Samsung QLED TVs can automatically detect the components you connect to them, whether it's an Xbox, PlayStation, or cable box, and automatically label the input and program the remote control for instant and easy operation. No other TVs do this. Samsung has a whole bunch of other little user-facing features that make TVs really appealing for folks who might not be so technically advanced. They're just flat out easy to use. So when we talk about Samsung QLED versus OLED, we can't just talk about picture quality anymore. The two are super close, especially with this super premium Samsung Q9 QLED. Now, we have to look at the bigger overall experience, all those user-facing elements, and when it comes to that, Samsung QLED wins by a landslide. So, to close up, if you want the absolute best picture quality overall, I still recommend OLED. Those perfect black levels and infinite viewing angles will satisfy the most discerning of viewers. But in every other aspect, QLED is superior, and I think it's gonna appeal to a broader range of customers. Now that you know the differences, I hope you can figure out which one is best for you. But at the end of the day, I suggest you go and look at these TVs in person, because it's impossible for you to see in this video just how impressive they are. In your search to find the perfect TV for you, definitely come back to digitaltrends.com. We've got tons of buying guides, tips, and tricks to make that process a lot easier. As always, happy shopping, and we'll see you on the next one.